We can do whatever we want, but we can only be what we are. We can do whatever we want, but we can only be what we are. So from this area of choice, being able to do whatever we want, the only choice we can make about being what we are is to resist it, to kind of contract it, to uh, block it, to restrict our being, whatever we are in any moment. <coughs> <coughs> So our choice is to, we can do whatever we want, but in terms of belonging, we can uh, block it or allow it. Any way we belong. Even if we block it, we anyway are what we are. And what we are is, is not a fixed thing. It's, you know, it's in the word being. Being is a movement. It's a vibration. And it's uh, perpetually being reborn at a very fast speed, perpetually re-emerging. Re re so in one moment, what we are can be uh, a resonance of anger or pain or uh, sadness. And in another, it can be totally empty, just free, universal. And none of these... Uh, this ever really gets lost, but it's what, what vibrates at a, at, a, at a more musical layer of being. So the sadness can be playing very loudly. And later on, you know, the love can play very loudly, and the sadness is like a soft undertone. So there's a constant uh, rejuvenation and refreshment of being. So in the area of belonging, Part of the uh, the contraction, the uh, suffering, the complication, is uh, coming together with birth. And there's two reasons for this. One reason is that something very, very pure, relative, less dense than the physical, is coming into the physical with what is actually quite crude physical sense organs. The light, so the light can seem very vulgar and the sound very loud and touch can, the air on the skin can be painful as for to a newborn baby until they, they numb it a little bit. <coughs> so that kind of birth shock is uh, leading to a space which is uh, hard to bring the, the uh, eternal, infinite belonging into expression. It kind of goes like this. The other reason that incarnation is a, a shock to belonging is that the body that we're incarnating into with its cells and its DNA is already probably carrying stress signals, inherited stress signals, around the area of belonging. <laughs> So we've got a double whammy there, because the issue of belonging is a, a, a fundamental to trauma, which is passed on from generation to generation. You know, trauma is, this doesn't belong here, this can't find a place here. Contraction is also, but that's more like holding it for now. Trauma is like out of here. But both are, are driven by, this can't belong, my anger can't belong, so I'm going to push it down. So, in what we, uh, part of what we opened yesterday was the feeling, the, sen the sense of belonging, beginning to, to uh, see what it is and what it's not, to kind of let the conditions we put on belonging fall off a little bit, in order to relax more deeply in the sense of belonging. The more we relax in the sense of belonging, the less the conditions around affect it. So we can be rejected by everybody and at a certain stage and still relax in the sense of belonging. And that actually helps evolve the situation to something more useful.
the other part of what we did yesterday was to uh, really begin to open up to the uh, earth. You know, our bodies are made of earth, the same earth, the same particles, the same matter, the same liquids, the same gases. They're, they're, they're actually earth. <coughs> uh, we, uh, we're not just a part of nature or, or standing in nature. We are nature, as much as the birds or the trees or the animals. We are expressions of nature. So these are two areas, the earth and nature, where the uh, contraction around belonging reflects quite strongly uh, as birth trauma. Because before that, there was, we were more misty, we were more gaseous, more subtle. So embodiment is a, a key movement in spirituality, in that sense, allowing ourselves to be embodied, to uh, relax inside the physical. So to relax inside the physical is to bring that subtle element of what we were before birth into the physical, in this, to let it penetrate, let it be physical. being physically here now. And we can't really talk about belonging without <coughs> making this a major part of it, because uh, this is what we are. We don't have a choice. We are physically here now. We can't, we can choose to deny the physical, but it will only get us a half circle. It will loop us like above the waist. And always what will come forward, like as if like demons from below the waist, will be uh, the contractions where we don't allow the earth, the body, the, the what the, all of what is here now, which has uh, incredible power and intelligence as much as what's above our heads. Actually, it's not separate.